This is Dr. Rodrigo Garcia talking about heat stress in dairy cows. Today, I want to focus on production losses due to heat stress. With increased environmental temperatures and humidity and a THI index over 68, it is common to see how cows reduce their dry matter intake and activity while increasing respiration rates. This is a compensatory mechanism to reduce rumen fermentation and increase evaporative cooling. But of course, it negatively impacts milk production. Reduced heat intake accounts for half of the milk production losses. At the same time, cows increase blood flow to the skin to lose heat by radiation. That reduces the blood flow at the intestinal level, generating hypoxia, oxidative stress, and reduced nutrient absorption. Intestinal permeability increases, allowing pathogens and toxins to enter the bloodstream, causing immune activation and inflammation. That further reduced feed intake leads to liver damage, increases insulin release, and reduced milk production. Inflammation itself can consume 10 to 30% of the daily requirements for protein and energy. On top of that, cows suffering from heat stress develop ruminal acidosis, which alters microbial population in the rumen, leads to more lameness and affects milk composition. Heat stress not only decreases milk yield, but also affects fat and protein content and somatic cell count. Heat stress has a huge financial impact for dairy farmers all over the world, due to the reduction of milk yield, alter components, and health issues related. But one of the consequences more relevant to, for dairy farmers is a reduction in reproductive performance. We will discuss about it in the next video of the series. Stay tuned.